All right, so changing the water and lava textures is what we're going to be covering in this video. There's two types of textures for each. There is the flowing, uh, when the liquid is flowing. And there is also the still, when the liquid's just still like this. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to open up your resource pack folder. If you don't know how to get here, I'd suggest checking out episode one in my series. Then head into assets, head into Minecraft, head into textures, blocks, and now you're gonna wanna find the liquid you want to edit. For the demonstration purposes of this video, uh, we're gonna use water. So I'm gonna scroll down to W here, and we'll find the water.pngs. And now you're looking for a waterflow.png wateroverlay.png and waterstill.png Now, up to my current knowledge, I believe this wateroverlay.png cannot be edited by resource packs. I believe it's hard-coded into the game. I've done some testing and I haven't had any success, so if you guys know more than me on that, let me know and correct me if I'm wrong and I'll make the corrections. But uh, for now, we're just going to edit the waterflow and the waterstill.png. So right away you'll notice that there's a waterflow.png and a waterflow.png.mcmeta, these two files. And same with waterstill, there's, there's two. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial on animated textures, um, it explains what these folders are, or what these uh, files are for and goes into detail on how to edit them. In this video I'm going to go over a general, general overview, but if you want a more in-depth, I'd suggest checking out the last episode. So basically, these, fi these uh, files here show, tell the game to treat this image as a bunch of frames to animate on the texture. So to start off, let's go into water still and I'll show you what I mean. So open it up with an image editing software. In my case, I'm using Pixelmator. And you'll see a giant strip. Now this strip is divided into 16 by 16 frames. So as we can see right up here, the dimensions are 16 by 512. So 512 being the height. So if we take 512 and divide it by 16, we get 32. So this um, particular water file has 32 frames of animation. So with that in mind, if we wanted to make our own water file, we're gonna need to start up a, or create a new image. So open up a new image in your image editing software. The width is going to be 16 and the height is going to be the number of frames or 16 times the number of frames you want. So if you wanted um, 32 frames just like the default, well then you'd type 512. If you wanted half, you'd do 256 and that would give you 16 frames. So just a bit of math and you can get the number of frames you want. So I think for this demo we're just going to do a 4 frame animation of water. So you'll see I get a tiny little strip here. So this strip is made up of now four frames of 16, 16 by 64. So each 16 by 16 is gonna be one frame of the still water animation. So let me create some images here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see here, I've gone ahead and just quickly whipped up a little image here. Now this one probably won't turn out the best, but you know what, it's just for demonstration. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, like if you get your image, you're gonna wanna make sure you lower the opacity on it so the water looks like it's see-through. Otherwise it'll just look like solid water, which you don't want. So now we need to export our image. And what you're gonna wanna do is export it to the same name that this water still was under. So we're gonna head over to export and we're gonna name it water still. And we're gonna make sure that's a PNG as I selected before. And we will do that to the blocks or we'll do it to the desktop. And we'll hit export. And there it is. Now we'll close out of this, these documents here. And now we're just gonna drag our new image in and replace it with the old one. Now this uh, 
file here, we need to double check and make sure it's set up for only a four frame animation. So we're gonna open up this with a text editing software and we'll see some parameters here. And if you watch the previous tutorial, you'll know what these mean. And it's saying the frame time is set to two. So it has nothing specified about the number of frames. So we should be all good to go. If you're confused about that, check the last video out. It'll go in depth on all those things. So now that our water still is done, we will open the game up and test it out. And you can see my beautiful water texture has been applied. We got some turquoise water with the uh, black lines that are supposed to look like waves and they look really glitchy. Okay, so the flowing water, let's open it up here with Pixelmator. There's one main difference with the flowing water. The dimensions of the flowing water, as you can see here, is 32 by 1024. Now the width being 32. Now this texture is not an HD texture. This is the same texture as the uh, default pack, which is 16 by 16. So basically what this is meaning is every single frame of the flowing water has to be 32 by 32 if your, di if your resource pack dimensions are 16 by 16. So if that's confusing, let me try to clarify here. The flowing water has to be double the size of whatever dimension your still water is. The reason for that is because when water flows in the game, sometimes it flows diagonal. Um, and in order for them to over in order for the game to overlay a texture diagonally, it needs to be larger than 16 by 16, which is the main reason. So let's uh, take my previous texture, which was the water still, and I will show you how to make it a uh, flowing water. So let's create a new document. And this time the width, we need to be 32. And the height is gonna be 32 times the number of frames. And so if we do four frames again, it's gonna be 32 times four. So 128. So now we have a new document and let me show you how to go about changing your textures. And obviously you could redraw new textures if you wanted, but I'm gonna try to keep mine consistent with my previous uh, water texture. So let's open this back up with Pixelmator. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab one frame. Just like this, and we're gonna copy it and paste it over here. Now I'm gonna layer this in a four by four pattern and that will be one frame. So we'll paste it three more times. And I'm gonna layer it like so. So that is gonna be one frame now of our flowing water texture. So now I will go ahead and create the other four frames. Okay, so there we go. We're done creating our four frames. So the one thing to keep in mind from this is when you're doing a flowing liquid texture, it has to be double on the width and the height of the image size. That's the most important thing about these water and lava textures. So now let's say export this uh, one as the flowing water. So we're gonna once again go to export, PNG, and we're gonna name it water flow. The same image that, I mean the same name that the default one is in. I'm gonna quit that. And we will export it to our desktop. There it is. And once again, we'll drag it into the game. We'll hit replace. Now we wanna check out our properties file here. So let's pop it open. And you can see it's just the basic um, animation file. So we should be all good to go. So we'll throw it in the game and show you how it works. Okay, so there we go. You can see I threw in my texture in the game and right away you can see I forgot to change the opacity of the texture. So let me do that really quickly and then I'll show you what it looks like. And there we go, I've uh, reset the opacity and you can see it looks a lot better. Now it does not look good, but it looks uh, better. So that is how you create, <laughs> yeah, that looks really terrible, uh, a animated water texture. The most important thing from this is to make sure that on your flowing water textures, 
it's a two by two image so uh, i hope that helped you guys out if you have any questions let me know and check out my other videos i'd suggest checking out that animations tutorial for some more in-depth on maybe you know if you wanted to slow down this water or speed it up or you know change different parameters of how this animation actually works check out that for that uh episode four with the animation tutorial uh yeah we'll see you later